Somebody's watching cross country. Back again to discuss Joe Concha and Kevin Wallen. Thank y'all so much, gentlemen. Uh, as you can see, the young people get all their information from social media, and the crusty mm -hmm. adults are still reading the newspaper. <laughs> uh, Joe, you you monitor the media for a living. Were you yeah. surprised of you know the media saying they shouldn't cover both sides? I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, we know that they do that, but I was kind of surprised that they admitted to it, right? Indeed, Lawrence. And, and watching your, your package, or at least the clips from it, uh, from that man on the street, it, that was from New York. It wasn't from Alabama right. or Wyoming or from Texas, right? This is the perception in a very liberal area that looked like, uh, where were you, Union Square, or like uh, downtown oh, around 14th well Street? Play. You got it, Union Square. <laughs> okay, used to work down there. So I'm like, oh, I know that place. He knows his uh, New York. But look. Uh, exactly. I lived there for uh, exactly a year before going to Hoboken because they had more bars per square mile. Long story, Kevin, but we'll talk about it another it's time. The, the point is, I, I'm old enough to remember when NBC's Lester Holt said while accepting the Edward R. Murrow Award, all right? Let, let me, let me uh, share this quote with you guys. Fairness is overrated, he said, unquote, and both sides should not be explored on issues. And, and I'm, I'm unfortunately old enough to remember when CNN's Don Lemon, uh, you know, said this with the straight face while saying that CNN doesn't do opinion, but just straight news, and I hope you're sitting down, quote, Republicans are doing something that is very dangerous to our society, and we have to acknowledge that. We have to acknowledge that as Americans, we must acknowledge that as journalists, because if we don't, we are not doing our jobs. In other words, reporting both sides means reporting the conservative side of a perspective on things like abortion, Second Amendment, government spending, so, uh, you know, education. The point is that, you know, there are two sides to every story. So Kevin, and if you're a journalist, you would explore both. Is and, and Joe, these guys are saying no. All right, Kevin. So Sorry, is, where, where did Joe go wrong with this? Is he, is he right on this or wrong? I don't think Joe's necessarily wrong. I mean, that's why I love being on this panel with Joe is yeah. we can have this exchange of ideas and, and talk about yeah. uh, both sides of, of uh, hot issues uh, facing this country. But I think those numbers are reflective of just the general, general decline of the American people with regards to our institutions when it comes to the government, when it even comes to mm -hmm. our military and a lack of trust that we see in these institutions, including the media, uh, that has been happening over time, that erosion of trust, which I think is fundamentally dangerous. And I think journalists have to come clean with whether they have biases from the right or the left when they're presenting stories. I think the local news actually does a really good job of that, straight over home plate for the most part, at all of our different yeah. Fox affiliates uh, around the country, of uh, just presenting what's in front of, uh, of those cities that they're reporting in because we need to restore trust in those institutions, especially uh, with the media. I guess I, what I would say, Joe, don't you think the, the media is responsible, though, for the divide and the lack of trust in our institutions because they don't cover stories fairly? Well, I, I won't answer it. From my own perspective, I'll go to Gallup, which found that something like 84% of Americans, all right, an overwhelming majority, thinks that the, the media bears some responsibility for divide in this country, all right? So that's the perception that, therefore, the media is taking a side, pushing a narrative, and they're trying to divide. And when they do that, that brings clicks and that brings ratings. And, and look, 80% of independent voters, according to Axios, uh, think that news stories are being reported at least fake or false sometimes and the people that are doing it the journalists that are doing it know they are pushing that narrative yeah. in other words it's not human error it's they're literally trying to push something on the news consumer and and read ari fleischer's new book yeah. by the way it shows that the white house press car lawrence reporters attending the daily briefings rank 12 to 1 democrat to Republican. I was, that I, is telling. I was listening to him when Brian killed me, and I saw the same exact thing. Kevin, final word to you, brother. Well, I think Joe's, Joe points out an important thing, that the incentive structure of our media is all lopsided in terms of those clicks and those ratings, as opposed to those long-form pieces that we need more of, that investigative journalism that is so critically yeah. important to the public dialogue and not just the ratings and not just the clicks on articles. That's why we're out there every single day just talking with people and people Amen. can decide what they think about it. Joe and Kevin, we always thank you guys.